Hello, thanks for clicking on my video today. Put some thought into uh, how this would be kind of fun and get the general idea across. On this side, you see a two-stroked still chainsaw. And never mind that it's a still, cover up that name. And on this side, you'll see that it's a Greenworks. We're gonna cover up that name. Never mind, never mind the makes and anything like that because that's way too specific. We are just focused on the pros and cons of a 120 volt, not battery, that's 120 volt, you plug into your house in America, I don't know what voltage you're with or what country you're with or anything like that, but on this, and then this is the mix one, I believe it's a 50 to one is the ratio. This is brand spanking new, blade and all, 60 bucks, got a heck of a deal on it, yada yada. You get your deals everywhere you go. And on this guy, sharpen the blade best I could, and I'm just a DIY, I'm not a professional chain sharpener, but did a pretty good job, took my time with it. So to give us a pretty even match, we're gonna have some fun. And again, this is just a general versus. This isn't comparing brands, cover up the names. I almost got the name covered up. <laughs> so let's see how much fun we can have. Oh man, look at that. Then you gotta have this, undo that, get that out. Then you gotta wiggle it, so you gotta have pretty much that tool, undo it. Well, this one's easier, and the still is not. On this one, the gas, you have the <coughs> time to go. <coughs> yim, 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 yim. Break. Won't spin. But on this guy, that doesn't have that. It's all for looks. It's just a guard. We're going, there we go. Had to go back to a symmetry class. Oh, excuse me. Chemistry class, not symmetry class, yeah. That's not it.
probably has something to do with it not running. The joys of having gas chainsaw. <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. I showed you live action of what it's like to use both electric and gas. Now you got to see for yourself what it looks like. Yep. So in summary, the electric guy, he is easier to tow it around as far as weight, but it's terrible when pulling through the woods. Well, if you're going to go some great distance of all these extension cords, terrible. But if you're set up and you're just doing small scale, like not working for somebody or just DIY, you might consider this. But if you're doing anything like working on jobs or anything or climbing a tree or going through the woods, you should consider using gas powered. I don't think there's a right or wrong. I think there's an application in the user depending on what you're doing. Eh, it's kind of similar like anything else, gas and electric cars, etc. With that, 
obviously you gotta mix the gas. There is no fuel, you know? Are you running solar? <laughs> is, you know, the more you spend on a saw, the better. Well, usually you get what you pay for when you buy brand new. This is a cheap saw. You know, it'll last me a long time depending on how well I take care of it. Eventually I'll have to clean it out and take the brushes out, the little guys that keep the motor going. And, uh, and that guy, well, you gotta use it so often or else the fuel goes bad, etc. There's a lot more maintenance that goes into that. But if that thing was running top notch, it would be able to outperform my electric. So just depends. Please like and subscribe. I spend a great deal of my time and effort building videos as my viewers can see what they would like to do with their life and how they would like to spend their dough. See you next time.